This is Summer. She's a nine and a half year old Irish Terrier. We were walking in our local park and I noticed she was struggling to put one paw in front of the other. She actually stumbled over and seemed to lose all function of her back legs. So I knew something was seriously wrong. The emergency vet referred her to the Ralph. The vet said, if she's gonna live, it's gonna be the Ralph that's gonna save her. I drove well past the speed limit. When she arrived here, they said that her gums were blue, she had hypoxia, much longer, and I'm not sure what state she would have been in. She initially came to the emergency department where she was unable to move, poorly responsive. We kind of localized that the neurological system that was affected to then refer her to the neurology department. We did lots and lots of different diagnostic tests to try and understand a bit more what was happening. She had an MRI scan of her head and on the MRI we could see that her muscles in her head looked very inflamed and we took biopsies of the muscles which the results took a while to come back but eventually showed lots of inflammation consistent with an immune mediated process. She remained unable to breathe on her own and so the decision was made with the ECC team to put her onto something called a ventilator. When you breathe, you need your diaphragm and your little muscle between the ribs to actually expand your rib cage and then the air come in. She wasn't able to do that because of a disease she had. The muscle was super weak. Tracheostomy tube is a little hole that we done uh, to the windpipe that allow us to place a little tube. Then we connect it to a machine that was helping her to breathe. She needed support to breathe, to move, to urinate, to eat. So it was kind of like a team work with neurology and ECC. She remained on the ventilator for over two weeks, which is a really long time. We tried during that period to take her off the ventilator, but she was showing us that she just couldn't cope with that. She is the, like the embodiment of why ECC is needed. Obviously dogs and cats are unable to speak, so we have to pay a lot of attention to them. The ECC nurses were outstanding in her care. They are the ones who see this dog every hour, assess the dog, make her move, make her eat, flag her if there's any issue. So she needs like a 24-7 care for her. There's no way you can leave this dog for two hours without any monitoring. Eventually, we started to see that she was moving herself a little bit more in her bed. So at that point, we decided to try her again off the ventilator. With a vet sitting next to her because things can go wrong very quickly. We thought that she was going to die twice and in our, in our minds we sort of said goodbye to her twice. It's alright. Just stay in, just wait. We were thinking, are we putting her through all of this for nothing? Is she going to have some quality of life at the end of it? And you just don't know. And then finally, Victoria said she's starting to breathe on her own now. We can actually get her off the ventilator. And that was a huge milestone. Day by day after that, she became stronger. And with some intensive physiotherapy and lots of nursing support, she began to walk on her own and um, from that point on she got better and better and it was then that we could say that we could send her home. While all this was going on my wife was 39 weeks pregnant and pretty much able to drop at any moment. My wife Laura, she said go and collect somewhere because then I'll probably go into labour. She thought the stress of it was actually keeping her from going into labour and she was right because three days later our daughter Indigo was born. <laughs> How is Summer doing that? Summer's doing amazingly. She's running around like a puppy, super sociable, just wants to play all the time and be with everybody all the time. She's a very, very happy girl. <laughs> She's a very rewarding case because there's so much effort to actually do the best for her. I see her today happy wagging her tail while the cherry on top, like it was awesome. Summer's case taught us a lot. Even if things are really difficult or even if they're looking a little bleak, if you keep going with what you know is right, then sometimes the outcome can just be this beautiful thing. Summer, it's just a bin. It's just a bin.